Hi guys and uh, welcome back to my channel. Today we have the Maytek VTX HV. So this is a pretty awesome VTX that Maytek just came out with. And it's it has some awesome features actually. I'm very I'm very excited for this one. Now it does cost $30, but that's what you get for the features. So let's check it out real quick. Let's first see what it comes with. Um as you can see it has an IPEX port here and they provide you with an IPEX to an SMA. So if you have RP SMA antennas, you will need an adapter or another IPEX adapter. However, if you do have just RP SMA antennas, they also provide you with an IPEX to a dipolar antenna, which is awesome. So th this was very well thought out from them and this was very nice of them to actually do this here. All right, so let's take a look at the board here now. As we can see, we have two holes here, and this is so it allows it to be a stackable VTX transmitter, which is absolutely awesome. I love things that are stackable. It makes for a clean build if you have room, and um, I'm a big fan of this. So let's check these pads here. So uh, power input is 7 to 27 volts, which is pretty awesome, which is expected. This is like the default, and uh, it's what everyone's used to nowadays. So 7 to 27 volts is perfect. And now let's just quickly flip it over here. So looking here, you actually we do have a 5 volt regulator and this 5 volt regulator you could power off your camera from this 5 volt regulator right here. So if you can see the pads 5 volt ground video and audio. So it does provide audio which is awesome. And another thing is what I really love about this that it's just soldered on. There's none of those stupid, you know, JST connectors that if you break or lose you have to, you know, just scour the internet looking for them. Uh, so this is just absolutely awesome and it does will make a clean build. So that's very cool. So here we have 5 volt ground TX and RX. Now what are these for? Well, these have actually three um, three uses for, which is pretty awesome. One is that you can update the firmware. And currently it's running on 40 channels. This is a 40 channel receiver, transmitter. And there's a rumor going around that there could possibly be a new firmware update which makes it a 48 channel transmitter, which is just awesome really so that's one thing we can use the TX and RX for what else can we so what we can do actually is we could control this guy through our FR sky transmitters through a Lua script and we can control him through the beta flight OSD which is just absolutely phenomenal this is very awesome uh, just plug it in and just do what you want you know just change it from your receiver transmitter or from your beta flight OSD and I will be going. I will be making a series of how to connect this guy and how to uh, set these up from the FR Sky Lua script to the Betaflight OSD. So stay tuned, and these videos will come out throughout this week of how to do this with this guy. Right now, we're just going to be just doing a little overview and checking its power consumption on different volt levels, and I will leave a table in a bit on the side of the screen. So let's quickly keep going over the. Uh, specifications here. Now it is a selectable transmitter, 25, 200, and 500 milliwatts, which is awesome. Um, it's very good. Usually around on 200, so, um, but if you're doing something indoors, you got 25, and if you want something a little bit farther, you got your 500 milliwatts right there. And the if you are not connecting it through the smart port to actually control it through your receiver, or I mean your transmitter, or the Betaflight OSD, you do have buttons, and the buttons are very easy to use. A We'll just select uh, between the bands and the frequencies and the milliwatts. And then once you have it blinking to wherever you want, let's say it's blinking at 25, you just click B, it'll change it. And then press A again and it'll change it for you. So overall, this looks promising. It's very nice. Um, it's $30 right now on Banggood. However, it's still not up for sale, but hopefully I think it'll be out for sale this week. Um, so this is pretty nice. Um, I really do love the fact that it's stackable. That is just a huge, big, big bonus for me. Um, this is going to create a very clean build. Uh, also that they have solder ports, so you can just solder in your wires, which is just awesome. So I really like this, and even they provide you with a 5 volt regulator. And to be honest, lately Maytek has not been disappointing, and they've been killing the competition, and I'm very happy, and I, I'm, I'm just very pleased with their, with their products, and hopefully this one's not going to disappoint either. So. Overall, this seems good. This seems promising. Uh, the specifications are just awesome, and you know, it's it's a it's a VTX with a lot of features. So um, it's not it's and it's not even overpriced. You know, thirty dollars. So that's just 
you know, $10 more than the usual VTXs, but this just gives you so many more options for just $10 more. So if you really want these options, you can get them with this guy. And they also give you a 5 volt regulator. So that is just absolutely awesome. I really love this. Um, and it's just, it's very compact. It's very nice. You know, it's not a stackable where it takes a whole, you know, stack. It just takes half a stack. So if you have like a receiver that takes another half a stack, maybe you have a full stack right there. So that's pretty cool. Uh, however, you need to take note of when you do set this up, make sure this shielding is not touching you know any power wires so if you stacked it like this and your flight controller is here and you have you know your your power lines going through this way make sure the solder doesn't touch it and um yeah that'll create a lot of problems for you or even burn stuff out for you so yeah just be careful with that and overall it's a very nice one it looks very good it looks like it's good quality well, let's take a closer look if you guys are interested so you guys could see it. So here we have the LEDs for the selections of what you have selected. And it's pretty nice, you know. Um, that's all I could really say right now until we actually set it up and start having a go at this. Um, overall, it's shielded just nice. So we should not get any interference here. And yeah, this is pretty nice board. So I'm very excited for this one. Um, hopefully this will be my go-to VTX from now on. However, I'm using Turnigy Evolution on most of my quads, so I'll be setting up uh, for myself. I can just be, I'll be editing it through the Betaflight OSD on some of the flight controllers that I have. And I do have a FR Sky, but I don't really use it much. But we will, I will create the series on how to set it up on your FR Sky transmitter and your Betaflight OSD for this guy. So yeah, that'll be that'll, those will be coming out soon. And that's it guys that's all i could really say right now and hopefully someone was interested and had just wanted to see how this one is and what it provides and what it offers overall it looks very clean so um matex doing a very good job and that's it guys so that's all i could really say and that's going to conclude you for this video so i hope i helped someone out there and if you guys have any questions or any suggestions feel free to let me know and i will see you next time see you guys take care